Hey everyone, Sam Evans here, and in today's video, I want to tell you what the world's most powerful three-letter word is. So, really cool story. Just last night, I got invited over to this famous artist's house for for a drink of wine, and his name's Mark Olson. You can look him up. His stuff's really cool. And when I was having a drink with Mark, I asked him about his story and how he got to where he is today. With you know being an artist, because it's always fascinated me. How do artists that start out, you know, just kind of painting for a hobby, become famous and world renowned and sell lots of artwork? So Mark told me his whole story, which was quite long, but there was this one piece of it that just really stood out to me. And it was this time when Mark was in London and he was, he had an exhibition on Mayfair. And when he had that exhibition, he noticed how many wealthy people were in London and in Mayfair. And he thought, this is just like the perfect, you know, this is the perfect group of people for purchasing my art. So Mark one day looked across the road from where the exhibition was and he saw a restaurant that was uh, world famous and it served a lot of wealthy people. And Mark just walked across the road one day, walked into the restaurant and said, hey, my name's Mark, I'm giving an exhibition over the road and I'm wondering if you'd, if you'd be interested in giving me your customer list and your database so that I could send them an email and show them my work and see if anyone's interested in purchasing my work. And the restaurant owner declined but said, hey, since you asked, we're, you know, we're happy, we don't want to give you our list, but we're happy to send an email to everyone on our list promoting your stuff and, you know, and endorsing it. And so what they did is they got all of Mark's details and they sent all of their clients and all of, their, all of the people on their database, you know, emails promoting Mark's stuff. And that's where everything took off for him. To this point in time, since mailing that database, one third of all the art that Mark has ever sold came from that database. And not just that, but some people purchased multiple pieces of art from that database and then you know, they had it in their homes, and then their wealthy friends came over, visited their homes, saw the art, asked who, who, who did the piece, and then, you know, then the neighbors became customers too, and it started to grow like that. And then one of the people who purchased from that database was a very uh, wealthy man, and he called Mark back three years later and said, hey, I purchased a piece of art from you back this time, uh, and I own a Le Mans team. How would you like to paint and design the Le Mans car for me. And you know, what's amazing is, you know, the pivotal point in Mark's entire career in art and you know what enabled him to become world famous, sell, you know, tons of pieces and really make a name for, him, for himself, all came down to like one pivotal moment in time when Mark just got the idea to walk across the road, go into a restaurant and ask, hey, can I have your database? So what really amazed me about Mark's story of how he made it in, you know, in the world of art is that he, you know, he had the courage to just ask a question. And this brings us to the main, you know, the main point of today's video. The world's most powerful three-letter word is ask. You know, so many people are afraid to ask for what they want, and they think that the world is kind of going to notice them and then one day come over to them and say, you know, hey, you're an expert, or hey, you know, you can increase your prices, or hey, you know, we think that you're good at this. And the world doesn't really do that. You know, the, the world ignores people that wait, and it really has this way of rewarding people who ask. And sometimes, you know, all you have to do is ask for what you want, and it's amazing what happens. Another cool story is, only about three days ago, I was having dinner with a friend of mine called Jake Miller. And Jake uh, owns a blog where he interviews successful entrepreneurs. You can go check it out. Their website is called umpha.com. Anyway, I was having dinner with Jake and I asked, you know, we were chatting and he told me that he had just got confirmation that Sir Richard Branson was going to be doing an interview with him for his blog. And I was like blown away because Rich, Sir Richard Branson is one of the, you know, one of the most famous entrepreneurs in the world. And, I was pretty sure that he'd be hard to pin down and get an interview with. I asked Jake, I was like, how on earth did you get an interview with Sir Richard Branson? And he told me that he just asked. And this is it again, you know, 
just asking for what you want, it's amazing what can happen. So the story goes, you know, Jake sent a couple of emails to people at Virgin. They referred him to different people within the business and he got bounced around between all of these different people. And he just kept asking the same question, kept following up. And eventually he found himself talking to the, per the personal assistant of Sir Richard Branson and he got an interview locked in and confirmed, which, you know, is awesome. You know, the main point of this video is the world's most powerful three-letter word is ask. And whatever you want in life or business, I would encourage you this week to figure out what that is and just go out there and ask for it. It is amazing what can happen when you ask. Now, if you're watching this video anywhere else other than my blog, what I want you to do right now is head over to samovens.com. That's where more posts like this are. That's where free resources for business owners and entrepreneurs like yourself are. Uh, and that's where the comments section is. Now, if you enjoyed this video, what I want you to do is hit that like button and then leave me something in the comments section. I check all of the comments and respond to them personally. Thanks for watching.